Hi, Wendy here from wendybottrell.com and uh, today we are uh, living in times of a global health crisis and uh, this month we've been sharing ideas about moving more and moving well for your best life. Definitely uh, with what's going on in the world, uh, getting an active moving well lifestyle is uh, really important and so today's topic is simple ideas uh, to prevent the consequences of a sedentary lifestyle. And we like simple ideas that we can implement easily to make change. So check this out and uh, certainly be sure to um, let us know any thoughts or comments in the comments area. Um, a sedentary lifestyle increases a person's risks for many ailments, but some are far graver than others and you know this could be you know maybe cancer heart disease and other life-threatening illnesses so uh, moving more moving well it is really important uh, for your best life and so you know there are many ways to prevent the consequences of living a sedentary lifestyle and we're sharing a few simple ideas as a place to start so walking away from not walking you know, this seems straightforward because it is. Walk when you have the chance and when you can choose to do so. That's the first place you can draw a line. It's as simple as choosing the stairs over the elevator, allowing yourself to utilize your daily activity to move your legs and increase blood flow. It's a privilege when you think about it that we all have access to. Significant shifts in lifestyle can begin to improve your body's overall ability to function more actively. And think about it this way. Make it a must in your day to walk a certain amount of time or steps each day. And either way, you can constantly improve and increase. You can also think about mini walks if you're at work, five minutes every hour at your desk. Walk to the furthest bathroom at the office or you know if you're out and walk even in place if you just do it during commercials if you're watching TV require yourself to walk uh, when you're on a phone call um, I use a headset when I'm on the phone and I do and I walk all the time walk to work at work maybe on your lunch break um, if you have a chance or if you commit to the time Take the stairs over the elevator. Go somewhere that requires you uh, to walk to enjoy the experience rather than be sedentary. So, you know, maybe think about the zoo as opposed to a movie theater. Um, you know, maybe going on a hiking trail out in nature as opposed to uh, staying home and watching TV. Um, uh, it might be difficult these days, depending where you live, but shop in person rather than online. Take the dog out on a leash instead of just putting it out on a chain in the backyard. Number two, standing when you don't have to. You know, standing when you don't have to is essential to preventing the effects of long-term sedentary living. By doing so, you're forcing blood to begin circulation and putting expectations on your leg muscles, building their endurance to the improvements on, in lifestyle that are to come. Think of it as, you know, you don't have to stand, but instead you need to stand. And I'll share a link to an article on the benefits of standing versus sitting. And one of the things that I do is if I'm you know, going to the doctor, the dentist, any kind of business meetings, uh, waiting for clients. I always make it a point to stand rather than sit and wait. Um, some universal, uh, universal ways uh, to apply this practice to your lifestyle are standing on public transit. Stand for five minutes every hour when you're working and sitting at your desk. Require yourself to at least stand when you're using the phone. Stand during commercial breaks. Stand when you're eating at a high, high top at the restaurant or bar. Stand when you're reading. 
Sometimes I uh, walk around and read out loud so you're connecting mind and body. These are small steps that are important to av avoid um, the effects of a uh, sedentary lifestyle. Number three, start small, aim big. So this step is less about a specific action and more amount about a mindset that's needed. You know, to prevent the effects of being too passive, a person must taper themselves into becoming more active. Starting small is very important as it prevents any injury or unneeded strain on the body. Our muscular and bone system are fragile especially when they aren't used as often as they're meant to be. And so that's the idea, you know, allow yourself to build up and, and get your wins. Uh, starting small, setting goals and executing them is step one uh, to preventing the effects of uh, lifestyle, this disease of the mind that plagues the body. Aiming for them to continue and grow is the next part of the transition. Some general ways to implement this practice would be to start small with physical exercise that are readily available and can be expanded um, from there. You know, so think about um, starting with the push-ups, start doing wall push-ups, and as you get stronger and build up, um, you can, you know, move into a uh, uh, a uh, uh, kneeling push-up and then a uh, full push-up. So there, there is that progression. Um, you know, start doing squats. Uh, if you have a ball, do ball squats against the wall. And again, as you continue and learn proper form, um, you can go into full squats and then do um, barbell squats, um, dumbbell squats as you progress, just as an example. Number four, improve your experience at work. You know, this one is critical as it's something that most of us share in life. We have to go to work. For many of us, going to work may mean sitting all day, which does not work in one's favor when trying to combat the consequences that loom on the horizon for a sedentary lifestyle. If you're blessed enough to enjoy a job that keeps you moving and yet struggle with staying active, focus on practicing good movement daily by setting an alarm as a reminder. Um, if you're not as lucky and spend a lot of your time at work sitting, then proactive is your best bet. Being proactive at work means taking breaks to stand, walk, pace, stretch your muscles as often as possible. This could be structured for the sake of consistency, or you could act upon um, recognizing when your body's feeling stuck or sore. Uh, this can be accomplished by listening to podcasts and music on the subject and wearing movement-friendly clothes. You're reminding yourself to remain active where possible, and it's important uh, when practicing avoidance of the compli uh, complications that follow the sedentary lifestyle. So it's really um, about setting yourself up to achieve moving more daily. And five, stay consistent. I saved the best for last. To prevent the consequences of living a sedentary lifestyle from burdening your life, you must remain consistent to your practice of your good movement activity. This means enforcing discipline upon yourself, taking accountability for the moments you don't practice discipline and taking pride in the moments you do. Now we shared some ideas to help you with discipline and we will put that uh, link in the show notes as well. Staying consistent with your small goals and adjusting them when the time comes, it's essential for anyone to avoid the impact of health that is connected to the sedentary lifestyle. Striving to avoid the consequences of living a sedentary lifestyle requires changing that lifestyle. This isn't something that could be done easily overnight, nor is it something that's out of reach for anyone. Taking charge of our health is a responsibility we have to our mind and our body. 
Take on these practices with a serious approach and it's guaranteed to create noticeable change. We would love to hear uh, any ideas, questions, or comments in the section below. And uh, be sure to get in touch with us and let us know how we can help you. I'm Wendy, wendybotful.com. Bye for now.